Hey guys, uh, let's talk about lecture number one. It's an ICT role in key sectors of development of society standards in the field of ICT. This is the agenda for today. First, it's definition of ICT, subject ICT and its purposes. An ICT role in key sectors of development of society standards in the field of ICT. Uh, in the first content, we are going to talk about what is ICT actually and what we are going to learn on this subject. Uh, second one, it's about the role, strong role, position of ICT. And the last, it's the rules of ICT. So next, this is the vocabulary which you need to learn by heart at home. Uh, and starting with the definition of information communication technology uh, can be considered as an extended version of the term IT as it involves a C, a letter C, that represents the communication of data by electronic means, usually over some distance. Here, communication refers to the media broadcasting technologies, audio, video, processing, and transmission and telephony. And the next, what you are going to get during this lesson or during this term, it's how to get any information correctly, how we can convert it, store it, protect, process, and moreover, how to share with others uh, with the help of digital technologies. Uh, nowadays, we all understand uh, that the computer is more than just a thing uh, because of the big pandemic in the whole world. Now, uh, the computer skills are necessary and highly related to this subject. Um, we understood that ICT role uh, got the strong position in our life, in every part of our life and of course um, in every speciality not only developers need the computer um, nowadays also the other specialities as a biology uh, pedagogical specialities they need also uh, computer skills why uh, because of the uh, online learning uh, they need to share with you with the, with their presentation uh, via WhatsApp, Telegram. These all tools help uh, to communicate with you. So that's why they need also ICT. Of course, uh, in Kazakhstan as well, when is IT is um, growing year by year. And also, the last is the, about standards in the field of ICT. Um, system of ICT standards is a complex of normative, technical, and normative metho methodical documents that includes the combination of correlated standards and other standardization documents related to ICT, as well as documents that define the methods of development of those, their correlation, confirmation, change, inclusion, usage, and replacement, including the methods of rating objects, whether uh, they meet the required standards and other standardization documents or not. So uh, you can get acquainted with the standards of ICT um, more uh, when I will send you this lecture. At home, you have to just read it and take a note for yourself. Uh, next. Um, now you have to just, after um, listening my lecture, you have to just um copy this link copy and then let's go here and paste please after that uh, write here your name full name your group name uh the date when your lecture for example if if it was um on 8th of September, please choose 8th of September. Then just write here, what did you get from today's lecture? What did you understand? Maybe you, what did you, uh, what you didn't understand? So minimum should be five sentences. After that, just send it and that's all. Uh, after finishing filling this form, let's go back to this. Uh, your homework should be uh, learning the vocabulary the first 
which I already told you, but to make your uh, way of learning more easy, I just uh, did for uh, to you uh, this exercises. Again, you have to just copy or go through that link. Then you will see this window. The first one, uh, there are uh, some sections and the first is the cartridge key. Here you can see the words in English and of course the translation of each. To know the translation of this word, you have to just press on it once and it means technology Vishanya. And just go through this all words and after that uh, go to the sections of Uchivanya. Uh, and um, for example, приложение, it's application, right? Yeah. Запоминающие устройства, it's uh, storage devices. You have to just um, train yourself with this. After that, you can also test, test yourself. Like that's like, хранить, it's like to store. Uh, устройство ввода и вывода I.O. Uh, devices and so on. Just choose here whatever you want like this. And after that, you can check your answers. So uh, I think with this um, program, it's more interesting to learn uh, the new words uh, rather than just sitting, reading and learning, forcing yourself to learn this word, right? So uh, everything, of course, is up to you. De uh, decide for yourself which one is more easier. And the next homework is the read lecture. Uh, take a note for yourself. But um, again, I'm not gonna check your notebook. I'm not gonna give you a special mark for your notebook. It's just for yourself. And the last one is answer the questions. For the question it's first one what is uh, what is the difference between it and ict how it can help on your future profession what is ict what are the key application of ict and so on okay uh, so if you have questions please uh, you can write uh, on a telegram group and also you can write on our um, discord group for example, I already told you some of you that you, ha you can write uh, your question here. So uh, feel free to ask, guys. If you don't have questions, then bye and see you next week. Bye.